guys. So this time it came in with an 18-wheeler again. About to get run over by somebody. Um, so I'm going up here to meet the guy. Picking up the 420s, boy. I'm excited. Uh, hopefully this is a good look. I am excited. It's going to be different. So um, there she blows right there. FedEx. Here we are. So sometimes they come in on a normal truck. Sometimes they come on a big boy. Just depends. In this case, got the big boy. Well, the old short bed can just about get, it just barely fits four with the bed cover, which is pretty funny. Almost useless, but not exactly. All right, so hopefully that scene was worth doing because that about killed me. Uh, but the truck's fine. Tires are just rubber. They're all right on there. Nobody freak out. But I know some of y'all have noticed 420s being in the basement for six months now. Um, it took quite a while before someone said something about it, but recently more people have been asking about it. And so I figured it was time to address it and potentially time to use them. So they are a Nitto 420S and they're a 305 40 22. So I guess it's a giveaway since I stacked the tires on Baby Squat that those are the ones that I intended to put the tires on. And so for quite a while now, being as I bought these like six months ago, I've been really debating on changing the suspension setup on Baby Squat. And so we've rocked the three inch level in the front and then multiple different rear end setups over, over the last uh, two and a half years. Y'all know we've been doing a little bit of drag racing. We've been having a lot of fun with that. And so I've been really debating dropping this thing in the front back to stock not not slamming it just back to stock and then doing the two inch drop shackles and the rear block removed and we'll have basically leveled slightly raked probably the rear will probably be just a touch taller still and then we'll throw the 305 40 22 uh nitto 420s on here and it would be the low whitish i know they're only 12 wides but whitish um i think it'd be sick uh it, obviously the front would be back to stock we would be able to do four-wheel drive launches lauren was not completely on board with it she still thinks i shouldn't do it because she loves the way the truck sits now with the mud tires raised up she actually would love my truck lifted i think it'd be really fun to rock that at least for a while at least try it there's not many guys on youtube at least that have this set up with this style truck um that i've seen there might be more out there that i just haven't seen but I think it'd be really fun. Even if it wasn't a long-term thing, maybe we would run it for six months. Uh, who knows, I could love it, I could hate it. So I might put it on there and run it for two weeks and then hate it, completely change it back. Obviously I'll have this, uh, the Aturo still. I can just go get them remounted. I have this two and a half inch MotoFab leveling kit and their new upper control arms just waiting to get installed. So my mindset with it was drop it, enjoy it, make it potentially handle amazing. You start throwing some performance mods at it. see what it'll do at the track and just have a truck that is going to be like good handling and perform well and then if i don't absolutely love it i can either throw this exact setup three inch leveling kit the ready lift upper control arms back on it or try the two and a half inch leveling kit with the motofab upper control arms or potentially just go full-blown lift kit throw a seven inch or bigger lift kit on there completely change the truck and so that's my mindset with it. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh yeah, do it, and then hate it, and then so you can immediately get the truck lifted. Um, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a separate video on lift versus performance mods coming out here soon, but definitely leave a like on this video. Comment down below if you'd like me to do the lowered on 420s look for a while. It wouldn't be permanent unless we all just absolutely love it. I will, everyone's not gonna love it. If I absolutely love it and I wanna rock it and I'm having fun, uh, maybe drag racing it or whatever the case may be, just like that look, like the ride. I mean, it would be really cool to have this truck, but be able to handle well, actually be able to take turns and enjoy driving it on back roads and stuff. And as well, going down to a 305 40, gain some performance back. And then if we do performance mods in the future, the truck will be sitting at stock height, four wheel drive will be happy. We'll have a ton of different options. So I'm probably gonna do this at some point, no matter what the comments are like, just because this whole channel was based off of me or it started of just me doing whatever I wanted to do with my vehicles. And of course, over time, I have taken some, um, not criticism, but uh, y'all's opinions do matter, of course. But at the end of the day, if I want to experience something, I'm going to do it. And so I've never had a 
truck bits like this. I know I had the Duramax, but it was cranked in the front and then dropped a little bit in the back. And it, it's, it's totally different. Um, I think this would be a really cool experience and I think I'd really enjoy it. Getting this truck handling awesome, possibly performing awesome. And then after we have that fun, level it back out or lift it or potentially leave it lowered if it's freaking sick. Like, I hope, I hope it is. Um, but yeah, so with that being said, leave some feedback down below, but um, try to be open-minded. If, if you're not 100% on board with it, I know a lot of people are like, well, don't, you know, don't change it, it looks awesome. But in the name of YouTube, things need to change. And so, um, yeah, try to be a little open-minded. Try to, try, to, try to envision it with me. I just, it, it would be so sick. So, um, it's not gonna happen overnight. I'm definitely gonna let the video sit and, uh, you know, ponder on it for a while. But I, I, I mean, I've already had the tires for like six months now, so I'm not in some screaming hurry to uh, immediately do it now. So I don't think I exactly said, but I would be putting these on the ballistics. Um, that was the plan and another reason why I've put this off for so long is because I wanted to put these 22 by 12s and the Aturos on Larry because a lot of y'all know I got adapters coming for Larry but I ordered them a month and a half ago and I still haven't gotten them so I'm just waiting for them to get made they are custom made from Bora so it is what it is you know with the world going on right now stuff get uh, stuff gets um, delayed or whatnot so Anyways, uh, I definitely won't do this until I for sure get the spacers in. That way I can put the Aturos and the 22s on Larry for some, some content like that. And then we'll probably swap it up and uh, go about what I just talked about. But I think it would be a really fun experience and it would be a, a, some good content that isn't out on YouTube, I don't think. And uh, yeah, I just think it'd be sick. It'd be fun to experience and I think it'd be, it'd be a nice little change of pace from what we're used to with Baby Squat. And, uh, I think it could lead to uh, more track days and you know just some just some different stuff than what we've been doing just now so with that being said hopefully to enjoy comment down below let me know i'll see you on the next one all right guys so after editing the footage there's a couple things that i forgot to mention so uh the main reason all right we're out of gas i get it the main reason why i bought the 420 so long ago was because they were coming out with a new design and they were supposedly going to be doing away with that current design which i think they, they did end up doing but they there's just so many tires out there that they were able to uh stay in stock a lot longer than i thought they were but i, I figured i had this in my head as, as i wanted to do this and so i figured i might as well go ahead and buy the tires that way whenever i decided to do it i would have the ability to and if i decided not to that it would be a popular tire that i wouldn't have a problem selling so still have that option if i don't end up doing it i can always sell them but that was why I did that. And um, the reason I went with a 305 40 was because I tried the 45 on the Duramax because I, I wanted a little extra sidewall on those wheels because I didn't want to, you know, mess them up or anything. But I ended up not loving that kind of more ballooned look. It just, it looked kind of balloony on there and I just didn't love that. So went with the smaller sidewall on here. So another option that I was tossing around was instead of putting them on these ballistics, I would get some different wheels because I kind of want to keep these as having one that I can put on Larry or just have that I can swap in and out and stuff. It's more convenient as well as these are kind of beat up. So it'd be nice to have a fresh set of wheels, but uh, I don't really know if I want to go black. If I did get new wheels, it would be chrome because uh, if we put them on here and lower it's just gonna be basically the same which is not a bad thing But I think change would be good to swap it up and give it a whole new look Maybe take some of the black accents off do more white out stuff or do some chrome um, Little add-ons, you know nothing huge, but maybe maybe do some custom headlights white them out Maybe the LTZ grill inserts uh, Little fender badge little chrome pieces like that to kind of accent very well with the chrome and I think that would be a really nice look. And then if we change it back to the leveled or lifted look with some mud tires, then, you know, go back to the Stormtrooper look or keep it chrome and, you know, do whatever. Uh, a lot of possibilities, a lot of things tossed around my head. I'm not doing anything instantly, you know, because the truck is great how it is and a lot of people like how it is. So I've been a little skeptical on changing it too much, but I think it's time to swap it up. And I really want to experience this truck riding extremely well, back to stock and handling awesome and everything. So I think that's all the things that I missed. I uh, forgot to mention.
Come on, Dallas. 